2020 continues. Here's Deborah Roberts. 15 years ago, guitarist Eric Clapton's young son fell to his death in New York City. The boy's heartbroken mother has barely been able to talk on camera about the incident. But tonight, she'll let you see her private home movies, a mother finally ready to remember. Here's Bob Brown. They are scenes that had been placed in a safe for 15 years of a young boy named Connor, who was the son of actress and model Lori Del Santo and musician Eric Clapton. Del Santo, who had never looked at them since her son's death, revisited the videos as a result of a talk with Daphne Barak. Barack, on the right, is an international interviewer who was on assignment for a celebrity magazine. Del Santo is well known in Italy, recently for having won that country's version of the reality show, Survivor. When Del Santo first told her of the videos, Barack said, the disclosure was completely unexpected. She believes Del Santo had blocked the memory of them. I, saw, I asked, so what's on the video? She said, I can't remember because I just put it in a safe immediately after she doesn't say the tragedy she always say after the, the event or after it happened more than 15 years ago on march 20th 1991 connor who was four and a half fell through the open window of the apartment where he and his mother were living on the 53rd floor of a new york city building a cleaning person had left the window open but del santo who had stopped to look at a fax didn't know it and then suddenly the baby ran just to have a run, you know, suddenly, after been sitting for a while. And he went in this room, opened the door, and the guy saw him going through. As soon as I entered the room and I see the window, where can he be? In the sky, obviously, in, the, in paradise, hopefully. At first, she said, she couldn't cope with music or the sound of children's laughter nor could she look at the video she had locked away. I never saw it could happen like that. Never in a million years. It's incredible. <laughs> the pictures she retrieved for Barack after 15 years show a bright child who was keenly aware of his father's talent and gifts and wanted to follow in his footsteps. He loved listening to Clapton's music. On this day, when another artist made it onto the CD player, he protested in his own way. Do you like this music? Huh? Most of anything, he really wanted to do what his father was doing. Come on, you break it if you do that. He told me, he said, oh, soon I'm going to study music. I want to, to learn how to play guitar. <laughs> he really wanted very badly and he was already trying to understand how to he wanted to go on the stage Clapton and Del Santo had met at a dinner in 1985 when Clapton was in Italy on a concert tour for the album Behind the Sun he was 40 and already a legend for his music and he was married to Patty Boyd, the former wife of his friend George Harrison, and the inspiration for the song Layla. His affair with Del Santo, a young actress and model from Verona, led to the birth of their child, Connor, in August 1986. Oh, come on. He was an angel, I think. Really, he was. He was beautiful I think um, it was perfect Clapton and Del Santo never married and separated before Connor died because she was also a photographer she had documented Connor's life from the beginning losing him she told Barack changed her in profound ways it's like to lose um, part of your life and it's like really to lose your personality what are you doing with mommy it's very silly. This really changes your life and you become, really, you have to start to live with another person. <laughs> You're never going to be the same. You playing with mommy, Con? Yeah. Give me mommy glasses.
I think when you've lost a child, it's a double loss. You lose not only your child, but the person that you once were. Dr. Heidi Horsley teaches the issues surrounding grief and bereavement at Columbia University in New York. Your identity, part of your identity is your identity as a parent, your identity as a mother. And when your child dies, you've lost part of that identity, part of that role. In a rare interview also with Barack in 2003, Clapton discussed the consolation he finds in music. I, I almost subconsciously use music for myself as a healing agent. Uh, and lo and behold, it worked. Great music has always um, touched something in me which, which, which absolved me from, from whatever the, condi you know, the, the dark condition was. After the tragedy, Del Santo said, she and Clapton rode together on a flight to England where Connor was buried. She said that not long before, the boy had written a letter to his father. And he said to me, what shall I write? And I said, well, write, I love you, Dad. And he wrote that. So when we arrived in London, he receives the, the mail, and it was, this was after the funeral, and, he, and I was actually there, and he opened up, and it was his letter. Of oh, that moment, I cannot forget forever. The two parents, Del Santo said, barely talked about what had happened. He only said, um, it's surprising that I'm still alive after everything he said I've done in my whole life. And he's telling, you know, this, this boy hasn't done anything and it's finished. Each year in this country, nearly 100... Clapton made a public service announcement, warning other parents about the dangers of unguarded windows. There are two simple things you can do. Use guards on windows and safety gates on stairs. It's easy and it could prevent a terrible tragedy. Believe me, I know. Clapton remembered his son with a song, Tears in Heaven. His song, Tears in Heaven, was so powerful because when you sung it and read the words, you knew that he got it. He understood what parents were going through. I must be strong and carry on. Wanting to be reunited so desperately with your child and knowing that is not going to ever be able to happen. The winner is Eric Clapton. When he accepted Grammy Awards on behalf of the album in 1993, Clapton acknowledged his debt. I want to thank a lot of people, but the one person I want to thank is my son for the love he gave me and the song he gave me. Thank you very much. Clapton and Del Santo are no longer in touch. He has remarried. She has two young sons, 7 and 14 years old. Connor would have turned 20 in August. Del Santo told Barack she may only watch excerpts of the home videos she finally retrieved after 15 years, but that her outlook on them has changed. I have these tapes. I'm the only person who has any record of him, you know. So I figure, why not to give him a tribute? Go there. You take a picture of mommy now. Like this. Go there. Is there a point where looking at a home video, where the perspective might change from looking at a life that was lost to looking at a life that was lived. Yes, because they realized that maybe only Connor might have only lived in the world for four and a half years, but he had a wonderful four and a half years. And he was an incredible child. If the destiny is that their life is short, but at least to live in peace with ourselves and sleep well, knowing that you gave them everything you possibly could.